Welcome to Sew Very Easy. My name is Laura. I have four pieces of fabric and each piece of fabric has a different print on it. And the different prints are chocolate, 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 and you got it, another chocolate one. So I think it's time to make a chocolate apron. So we have chocolate, 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 and more chocolate. This fabric is from Timeless Treasures. They had a whole line of chocolate fabric. And the four pieces I have are the same size. I have that width of the fabric, 45 inches. And I have 22 inches, which is approximately 5 eighths of a yard. So this apron is going to be reversible and, well, turnable. Now you're going to be able to change the size depending on the size that you want. I happen to have the 22 inches, so that is what I'm going to be working with. If you're going to make a child's apron, you're going to be able to start it smaller. If you want a man's apron, maybe you'll need a little bit more. As we go along, you're going to see where that sizing is going to change depending on what you want. The 45 inches is going to be the length from the shoulders all the way down, but we are going to put a pocket in it, so that's going to keep it a little bit shorter. So these things you're going to be able to keep in mind as you do your own apron. So you're going to be able to make it exactly the size that you want. So what we're looking for is four pieces of fabric the same size. I did square them off and I'm also going to take off that salvage. So all four pieces are going to be the same size. And I do have those folds together. So one cut edge is going to be a shoulder. The other cut edge is going to be the bottom, and you're going to be able to adjust that. Take that one piece of fabric and fold it in half so we have that long fold along the edge. This folded edge, we need to do a neckline. We're going to have a shoulder, and then this is going to be a side seam. There are a few different ways we can get this neckline. You can use a pattern piece if you do any sewing, or we can use a 10 inch dinner plate. So I'm going to go down five inches and over five inches. And that is going to be my neckline. So just draw that shape out. If you're doing a child's apron, do it at the three inch mark and a man should still be able to fit into this. Now go over two inches and just draw a line. And we do want to give ourselves a bit of a sloping shoulder so it's more comfortable. So go down one inch so we can join that mark up. So you can see we have a little bit of a shoulder here. From here we just need to come down until the area that we're going to want to put some ties. 16 to 17 inches really does work out well. So I'm going to do 17 inches and put a mark. Yeah, you could do a slight curve if you'd like, or have a straight seam. Whatever you feel comfortable drawing out. Let's just do a straight seam, just to make it simple. And I'm going to start from that point where we've ended that shoulder to that 17 inch mark. For a child's size, you really are going to have to measure them depending on the size that you're going to make because we have small children all the way up to large teenage children. So basically you want to go from the shoulder to somewhere around that waistline. So that is going to be the shape of the top. So let's cut out those pieces leaving this right on the fold. So we have that neck, that shoulder, and the side seam. So we can transfer this to the three other pieces of fabric. So if you have a directional fabric, keep that in mind. This apron is going to seem a little bit backwards when we put it together, but I promise you this is going to be a very quick apron. Match two sides and stitch along that bottom. And we're going to do that to both sides. Once that bottom has been stitched, fold it over, press that seam so it's tight against itself, and top stitch. The bottom now has a nice finish and it's going to turn into a pocket. So we need to decide on the size of the pocket. 
I like to have big pockets about 12 inches because I keep a lot of stuff in my pockets. So to keep everything flat, I want to stitch a line where the bottom of that pocket is going to be. So if you want a 12 inch pocket, you're going to stitch a 12 inch line. Once I have that row of stitching done, I'm going to fold the apron along that stitch line. That stitch line just helps keep my layers together. And it won't matter which direction we fold this pocket up. We're going to be able to make that reversible. Put your hand between those two layers and pin the edge of the pockets right onto this first layer. I'd recommend the pins of the heads facing out. And pin both sides. You're only pinning to the one layer. Now take that bottom layer and bring it around to the front. So we're going to have that pocket inside. So what we're going to be looking at are the two right sides of the apron touching and that pocket is in between and that stitching line is along the bottom and our neck and shoulders all match up. Once that pocket is tucked up inside, just pin all of that apron together. We're going to do some stitching. On one apron, we're going to stitch that side seam all the way up to the shoulder, stitch the neckline, and then stitch that other side. So we're going to leave that shoulder open on both sides. The second piece, we're going to do just a little bit something different to the shoulder. As we're stitching, we're still going to stitch that side seam and the neck, but this time we're going to take those shoulder seams and fold them back anywhere between a half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and press them. So the sides are going to match up. Pin those folds together. Now stitch the side seam, the neck, and the side seam. So on the one piece, we're going to have the shoulders folded over, and on the other piece, they're just going to be straight. Once we are finished stitching this, we are going to be able to pull this out through the top here of this shoulder, but only if it's this lightweight quilting cotton. If you're using a denim or something heavier, you're going to have to leave a side seam. Before we turn it right side out, let's do a couple of notches around the collar. I really want this to lie flat, so I'm going to make just a little snip that comes right up to that seam. And I'm going to snip all the way around, and I'm going to do that to both collars. So when we've notched that, you can see how those seams are going to open, and they're going to lay flat. On the bottom, I'm just going to take out a little bit of bulk and trim off just a little corner. And now turn these right side out. By putting those little notches in, we're going to be able to get this collar to lay flat. Now we can go in and press. Press all of those seams so they're flat and the whole apron is flat. We're going to have this big pocket at the bottom. And the pocket size will be determined on the size that you want. And that pocket can go from one side to another side. We have these two apron pieces now. One sleeve is tucked in and one is out, so we're going to join those two up. Whatever we fold it in is what we're going to slide in. So I did three quarters of an inch, so I could put a mark, and then I'm going to slide that raw edge into that folded edge. Line it up, pin those layers together, and do a row of stitching just to hold those shoulders together. So that raw edge of the seam is tucked into that fold, and that's where we're going to put that row of stitching. So this is the stage we have the apron at, and we have a big pocket in the front, and we can just turn that pocket over to the back and when we look at the back, we also have that same front piece with a pocket. So the pocket can go on either side. There are many different ways that we can wear this. Not only can we take this and wear it reversed, 
we can wear it reversed front to back and up this way. So there are many different ways we can wear it. One thing that I do like to do, I don't want the pocket in the back. So I will tuck that pocket so it's inside of my back end. But let me put some ties on and show you some different ways that this can be tied up. We can stitch a tie right in one center piece and then that tie can go all the way around and tie on the back. You'll just be able to adjust this to what you want for comfort. So that gives you one waistband. We could give it two waistbands. So we're going to put ties on both sides. And that first tie is going to get tied around the back. So then the ties that are on the back get tied to the front. Or you tie that back one up first so that it's underneath. And then the front ones come to the back. So it's straight in the front and it has the tie in the back. So this really can be changed however you want it. I like to have one pocket in the front and that that pocket tucked into the back. But I do want to put a little stitching just to hold this pocket in so that it doesn't drape down. And just do a little bit of stitching here. You don't even have to go all the way down. Just do a little stitching right in the center. So that's going to give you two big pockets to put your hand in, but it really is one pocket at the bottom. For myself, I like it to come to the front first, tie that, and then have that go to the back. So I have two really big pockets in the front, and those pockets in the back are over here, so we don't see them, but I'm able to use it if I turn it around. Now, I am a petite woman, I'm only five foot one, so that big pocket works out good for me. If you're taller, do a smaller pocket. It's still going to be a good size, but it won't be as short on you. For me, I'm short, so I'm able to put that extra size in that pocket. Additionally, you can do a row of top stitching all the way around to finish it off. So this apron is a make it your own size apron. Just change the size, change the pockets, and we're all set to go. It definitely covers the entire body so we don't have to worry about any spills. And it's also a very comfortable apron because it's not tied along the neck, so it's not pulling at the neck, and it's not pulling around the waist. It's supported on the shoulders. The big pockets means it's also fun for gardening or chasing after kids for all of their toys. Just imagine all of the different fabrics we could make this apron in. I have always known this apron as a cobbler's apron. I don't know if that's the right name, so if you know the right name for this apron, I'd love to know what it is. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. Come on back. Let's see what we're working on next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.